Nurse practitioner Sally Brown, thanks so much for joining us today. We're talking about vitamin D and sun exposure and the interrelationship thereof. And so let me ask you the first question with respect to the sun. How much sun is too much sun? Um, too much sun is when you get a sunburn. And if you get a sunburn, it, uh, that degree is where how did it goes into the skin, whether it's a first, second, or third degree. Right. And if you get a sunburn, then it's going to increase your risk of developing uh, breast uh, um, skin cancer. Right. And that is uh, five sunburns like over a period of years, double your risk of developing uh, a very uh, malignant melanoma. With respect to sun protection, what types of sunscreens are best? Well, you want to use a sunscreen that protects you protects the, uh, from the UV rays, which is the ones that actually cause the sun burns. But you need to also use a sunscreen that protects the ultraviolet A rays. The ultraviolet A rays don't burn you, but they penetrate very deep, and they can cause, uh, can increase your risk of skin cancers as well, and can cause wrinkles. Is it possible to get too little sun? Yes, it is. Those people that get too little sun develop vitamin D deficiency. And what happens there is that you see it in the older adults. They have a lot of problems with cognition. Vitamin D deficiency also decreases our immune system. If you don't have a good vitamin D level, then you don't, uh, the, vitamin, the calcium which you absorb um, is not absorbed well, and therefore you can develop rickets, which is uh, the bone doesn't, doesn't mineralize as opposed to it doesn't get hard, and it makes it soft, and so you get bone deformities. What is the connection between vitamin D and sun exposure? Well, vitamin D and sun exposure, that's your natural way, your healthy way of getting it. What happens is when sunlight and the UV rays penetrate, it synthesizes the vitamin D that's in our body. And you, mm -hmm. get, um, you get vitamin D um, from foods, uh, fish, liver, egg yolks, uh, foods that have been fortified with vitamin D, such as milk, um, grains, products, breads. And then the sun, let's make the connection to the sun. The sun does what with all that vitamin D you've absorbed? It synthesizes it so that the body can absorb it. Okay. Do sunscreens then inhibit that process? Yes, they can. They can inhibit it. Um, when you're using a sunscreen, uh, you want to use one that has a, uh, a SP level of 15. But if you want to get um, healthy vitamin D, you need to go out in the sun, uh, get ex best, as much exposure on your body as you can, and be out there about 10 or 15 minutes, then apply your sunscreen. But what it does is it actually slows the process of it being able, blocks the process of the skin being able to synthesize um, the vitamin D. You, you mentioned this a couple of minutes ago, let's go over it again. What foods contain vitamin D if you want to be sure you're getting enough vitamin D? Fish, fish oils, egg yolks, um, dairy products, grains uh, that have been fortified with it. Should normal healthy people be taking vitamin D supplements and if so how much? Yes I think it's very important. Uh, there's a lot of opinions out there. Uh, some opinions are 400 IUs which are in international units a day would be enough. Others say as much as 5,000 international units a day. Uh, so I think it's based on talking with your provider uh, and them going over your health history you know, do you get exercise? Do you eat the foods that are fortified in iron and get a vitamin D level drawn? Therefore, you'll have a baseline as to how much is, is enough, what your basic needs is. Can not getting enough sun cause long-term health problems? Oh, definitely. We're seeing um, a lot of uh, vitamin D deficiency uh, in women that, you know, stayed in the house there's a correlation uh, with vitamin D deficiency, uh, how it attributes to coronary artery disease, even some prostate cancers, um, children um, that have low vitamin D level uh, don't tend to have as good 
uh, bone structure. Um, and we have been uh, looking at vitamin D deficiency in cognition in your older patients. Taking all of these things we've just talked about in consideration, what's your best advice with respect to vitamin D? I think that you should, uh, first of all, eat a healthy diet, get outside in the sun and exercise, take advantage of nature, and to eat a good healthy diet that is uh, good and in, in rich in vitamin D, a good multivitamin, and I think that they need to uh, visit their health care provider and get their vitamin D level checked to see if they are truly deficient. Very well. Sally, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.